about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions Dear Diary I recently went on a trip with Benefit Cosmetics and I thought I would do a travel and style diary video on my experience. As you know, I've previously done videos like this when I traveled and it just gives me such joy to look back on this kind of stuff. So I'm really excited to share this new city with you. Welcome to San Francisco. We started our first day with a tour of San Francisco, and where else to start but the Golden Gate Bridge, right? We went to Fort Point Vista, it's at the base of the bridge, and it was a great little spot for pictures. Making our way past Fisherman's Wharf, we drove all the way up to the very top of Twin Peaks, and this was incredible! It was such a beautiful lookout, you could see the entire city. Our next stop was to the very eclectic neighborhood surrounding the Height ashbury intersection. I absolutely loved that they had a clock that's perpetually set at 420. It's always 420 somewhere, right? We checked out an awesome vintage shop, it was called Decades of Fashion, and they had the coolest stuff. I could have spent hours in there, I wish we had a little bit more time, but I loved how they had so many different little brooches and trinkets and old school beauty items, that made it really special. Now, it wouldn't have been a San Francisco trip if we didn't go to Alamo Square and check out the painted ladies that you see in the Full House series. I absolutely loved that. Day two, we got to go behind the scenes at Benefit Cosmetics headquarters, which was so cool. We got to learn a little bit about the history of the brand, and we were shown around the offices by none other than Annie and Maggie, the daughters of the co-founders of the brand, which was pretty darn cool. We got to do a brow drawing exercise. It was absolutely terrifying. And then we went for lunch at this beautiful little Cuban restaurant. Now don't worry, for every outfit I'm going to leave a little key down in the info box to let you know where I got everything. But for this particular outfit, I was wearing some Jeffrey Campbell block shoes that my mom thinks looks like hay bales, but whatever mom. I was wearing a Samantha Wills necklace, my YSL college bag, and the jumpsuit is from Lulu's. I actually hauled it in a previous video really recently. The next morning, we all piled onto the Benefit bus and made our way out to Napa Valley. We went to the Pijou Winery. It was so beautiful. It was such a hot day and we just drank wine and ate good food. I totally caved into the gingham trend, so I went with a puffy sleeved gingham wrap shirt paired with a corduroy beige skirt, some free people shoes, and enormous sunglasses. While we were at the winery, we made some beautiful flower crowns, and we had a competition for making pizza. Now, as you guys know, I am vegetarian and Kaylin is vegan, so we decided to make a vegan 
calzone pizza and that's what we entered into the contest surprisingly our pizza won we were really really proud of ourselves but this is what it looked like before we made it into a pizza pocket and then we put it in the oven got it a little bit cooked and then folded it over and cooked the rest Every trip must come to an end and back to Glen and Lola I went. I decided to dress up a little bit for the airport because I had places to be when I landed. I was wearing my Forever 21 boots with a jacket and pants from lulus.com. My shirt was from Daily Look I believe ages ago and I was carrying my Givenchy bag. Whenever I travel in the States I like to wear matching socks because you always have to take your shoes off at security. I had such a wonderful time exploring San Francisco and getting to know a little bit more about the Benefit brand with all of the other Canadian influencers. I hope to be back and visit very soon. Until next time. <laughs>